We live in a culture when everybody wants to live by their own rules. But when it comes to God, <laughs> He's God, and you're not, I'm not. Thank God for that. And therefore, what the Bible calls a sin is a sin. But the Bible doesn't just stop by saying, this is a sin. The Bible goes on to say, I will give you power over sin when you ask for it. And so to surrender to any sin, whatever it may be, of sexual sins, immoral sins, whatever they may be, to surrender to them is to saying that God is not telling the truth and that God does not give the power to overcome sin. But I can tell you, it is my testimony and the testimony of millions of people that God given us power to overcome sin. Sin is real. We know it experientially. The Bible said sin is real. Sin is offense to God. Why do you think God left heaven, came to die on a cross to take away our sin? And so when you say, I want to live in sin, if God is unfair, why does he judge sin? God is not unfair. Had he not come from heaven, died for your sins, and welcoming you to come for forgiveness of sins and empowerment over sin, then we could say God is unfair, but he's very fair. He carried all the injustices in his own sinless body. And so many things in the Bible people say, oh, they're difficult to accept. Why? If you believe that God is all powerful, God is almighty, why can we not accept that he, in his supernatural power, he accomplished things? Jonah was in the belly of the well, three days. Jesus affirmed that fact. Why couldn't God keep him surviving for three days? Oh, by all means, he was bleached in the belly of the uh, whale, but nonetheless, he was there in order God to bring him to himself to obedience. And so Noah, I mean, even secular scientists now beginning to accept the flood as a reality. So all these things that people raise doubt about, they really are not true. People just want to be gods instead of allowing God to be God, and they are submitting to God. So I invite you to do that. Say, Holy Spirit of God, enlighten, illumine my heart and my mind so that I can believe, trust in your word that you are a mighty God, that you are all-powerful God, and nothing is impossible for you.